It's your boy, Michael Patterson. We buy house 912 LLC. Please say the C. All right, so you guys want to talk to you today about the power of having a schedule. I recently got a personal assistant, and I will not lie to you. I was a Mr. Get It Done, and whatever I had to do, I knew what I had to do on that day, and I got it done. That felt so good to me, saying I'm just a get it done person. Once I got a personal assistant, and they started putting my schedule together, I started seeing where I was wasting time and and um, and having unnecessary anxiety about different things. So I, I, I jotted down five different things, five different benefits that I seen from having a schedule. So the first benefit is it makes the goal for the day clear. If you don't have a schedule written out, hitting that goal that you have for the day is highly unlikely. You have to make sure you write the goal out to make sure that you're moving towards what that goal is. You need to clearly know what it is. What am I aiming for? Every day you wake up, you should have a goal for that day. You need to hit the goal for that day. If you're trying to hit every part, let's say you're, you know, the goal is you're trying to lose weight, right? It takes daily activity. You're trying to make money. It takes daily activity moving towards the goal. So that's number one. Number two, it frees your mind from unnecessary thinking. This is, let me tell you, once upon a time, I had an anxiety attack for the first time in my life. And it, I had a lot of different things going on. Family members died. In fact, well, yeah, I had a number of family members that died during this period of time. I had a lot of projects that was going on. I had one project that I was behind on, and it was it was just weighing on me, weighing on me. And I was keeping my entire schedule in my head. And if you're like me, I'm a heavy thinker. I'm always thinking. The last thing I need to do is have something else in my mind that I have to keep up with. So I need to dump it, right? So I'm thinking because I need to remember something, right? I know I got, okay, I got to think about this and this and this. I don't need time to stop and think about what I could have written down yesterday, okay? Because my schedule needs to be put together the day before, at least the day before, all right? So it frees you from unnecessary, uh, unnecessary thinking. Next is it creates accountability. When you have something in your head, the accountability is not there. When you write it on paper, accountability shows up. You have a personal assistant like I do, my personal assistant calls me, because that's what I need. My personal assistant calls me and says, hey, I know you're in a, um, I know you're working on that project right now, but you got but you gotta wrap that up in the next 10 minutes because you gotta be to a meeting, you know, 20 minutes from now, right? And I'm like, dang, okay. And I ain't gonna lie, y'all. Sometimes I done slipped. Sometimes she had called me for me to, you know, to be on task, and I'm like, I ain't on task. But when when I realize that, it makes me check myself. I'm like, yo, I really got to be on my stuff. So I've got more on my stuff. As much as I as I accomplished, if I had a schedule when I first started in this business, I would have accomplished more. Next thing, it forces you into productivity. You realize quickly how much time you don't have in a day. Everybody says, everybody got the same 24 hours. No, we don't. Everybody don't have the same 24 hours. We don't. Let me tell you why. Because eight of them hours you're sleeping. All right? So you already done chop that down right there. Eight hours going out of the 24. Then you got time that you eat. So let's just say I eat once a day. But let's just say the average person eats three meals a day. That's an hour going out. Okay? So you don't lost eight hours from sleeping. Nine, ten, and eleven. Okay? Now, now that's you eating the food. The preparation to eat the food is going to take you about 20 minutes. Right? So they're going another hour there. All right, so that's, that's the fourth one, right? So eight, nine, 10, 11, 12 hours already gone. So now you got 12 hours. Then you got to wash your face. You got to brush your teeth. You got to put the odor on, put on clothes. Like all that's going to take at least an hour, all right? So now you got 11, you got 11 hours left in a day. If you got kids, you got to spend time with your kids. You got to spend time with your wife. You really don't have time like that. I'm telling you. So when you're on a schedule, you're able to see that. That your time is not this. Your time is this. You got a small window to get stuff done. Like, get it done. And you start being able to prioritize. Okay, this is what I need to do. This is what I don't need to do. This is what I need to delegate to another person. Next thing, it allows you to see your day from a 30,000 foot view. You can't see your day walking in it every day. Can't do it. 
You really can't. But if you can like look at your day from a 30,000 foot view like you're on a plane, you can see the whole picture and it'll tell you your future for what you're moving towards. You'll start saying, man, I did not schedule a workout in my schedule. So guess what that tells me? That your schedule predicts your future. I look at it, if you're not working out, if that's not in your schedule, then I know that in the future you're gonna have health problems. All right? I know that, you know why? Because you haven't prioritized it. Whatever's on your schedule, is something that you prioritize. So that's it for today. Michael Patterson, who buys and I went to LLC. Man, if you can't get an assistant at this time, get a calendar, okay? Get a calendar, set your, your, uh, your, your reminders on your calendar. Do it every night before you go to bed. Whatever didn't get done, it's gonna roll over to the next day, so you gotta get it done, because we really don't have that much time, all right? No.